Hey guys, I'm Sasha and back on YouTube again. Um, before I start, I want to ask you, um, please give it a thumbs up if you like my videos and subscribe if you aren't. And uh, if you can, uh, give me a comment down below because I really want to know more about my viewers. And uh, I thought it would be nice if you tell me where you live. So I live in Holland in a city called Brabant. And um, so maybe it's fun for you guys if you can, because if you cannot, you don't have an open account, I believe. And I do not know a lot about it, but if you can, I would like for you to give me a comment where I live so I get to know my viewers a little bit more. How fun would that be? So what am I going to do today? I am going to make this nails. For this design, I will use a white gel polish from RCM, a silver gel polish from Young Nails, I will use a red and black gel paint from Young Nails, I really love their paints, they are so pigmented and uh, you can draw very fine lines with it and I love them. And then, of course, my diamond stones. Oh, shiny, pretty. Oh, I love them. So, put them aside. And um, let's go back in time and put this design on my nails. <laughs> to start off, I put some silver gel polish on my pinky fingernail. Don't forget to put it thin, because otherwise it's not good. I tell you in a lot of videos, otherwise what, so I stop saying everything a hundred times. That needs 30 seconds into the light, and I use a UV uh, LED light, and a UV light needs a minute. There were 30 seconds, and of course, we put on a second coat and don't touch the skin. Check it up, yes, again into the light. Then we go on to our ring finger and for that we need to have a white stripe of gel polish and it's a diagonal stripe we want to have and it's around one third of the nail. No, you will see it. And when I'm doing this, I'll, I'll always touch my skin, but in this case, I just wipe it off and we just do as if it's never happened or something. So just the other side and I hope you can see it and I stay in screen, I hope. So there we have it. Well, let's put the white on all of the nails already so we put it on in one time in a lamp. On the middle finger we put also a white stripe but then from the cuticle straight up to the point of the nail and I really like to take it a little bit farther than the half of the nail. So just paint it white and don't forget the tip because otherwise it looks very silly on the knee and then the ring the wise the wise the, the pointy finger i don't know how you call it i will look it up
but not all the way white so we just want to have a little tiny corner without No, I just make it all the way white. Everything changes. And of course the thumb, but I will do that out of screen because I can't seem to find a right corner for the camera to, to shoot my thumb. So I'll show you later. So the white needs a minute into the light because it's a different brand. So we give this a minute. Then we go in with some red gel polish from Young Nails. I put something on my brush and I will put the reds on my ring finger, on my uh, middle finger and a little pointy triangle on my point finger. There we go. We are going to put some red on the tip of this nail against the white border and don't forget the tip because otherwise it looks silly and now you can make it tighter and then again it's not very important because we put some stones, diamonds on this so that will make it tight enough. Just the area against the white. And don't put it on the skin again, like I do, because I really love to put it on my skin. And again a little bit more to make it more red and don't forget to put it right in the corner there to touch it evenly so for the design of my point finger nail I use a, a tiny tiny brush because it's going to be a really sharp pointy triangle like thing right here and then we just go in with more paint to make it more area area And I really think This is nice. And then my ring finger needs a little bit of black. So again, we go in with a, with a gel paint from Young Nails. And in this case, it's a black one. So we put something on the brush, just at the base of the nail.
into the light again for 30 seconds this time. The, the gel paint needs also 30 seconds. So again, that were the 30 seconds and now we are ready for the zebra print and I will do that with my hands, only hand painted we call that. And let's put them on. And a zebra print is just a bit how you want it. So I hope you can see this. But you make really tiny strokes with sometimes a bit larger just to have a different point of view. So, and then you go in from the other side in there, maybe a little bit thicker. like so and also around this area and then again on the other side just color it in like so and again not too much on your brush a little one there and a little one there just pull it out a little bit there we have the start of our design and I really love making this kind of nails because this doesn't have any rules or something, so you can go wild with this. Oh, it's great, it's great. I put it on all the whites, so let's go to the middle finger. So you're just going to work up and I start the line thicker and I make it thin at the point and it could be a little bit swirly and again also this kind of design do not have any rules if you like thick lines you can make thick lines and if you like a little small one is also good. When you have more stripe, it's, it's getting more beautiful. And oh, I love this design. So the point finger. And then I'm going in with a thicker one around there.
And this is a really silent video. So maybe I put on a music into it or something, because this is very boring for people who are watching this. Just work your way up to the point. of the nail so I really think I want to make this one a little bit thicker thirty seconds into exactly to put on my diamonds I use a drill gel and it's a gel glue that needs to that needs to come into the light to cure so let's put it on my pink finger first and we're going to put a straight line from the cuticle area to the point of the nail. And then we are ready for the diamonds. I put them in a little triangle tray so I can pick them up easily. Put the other ones aside because if you knock that over, they are everywhere and you find them for the rest of your life. I promise you. And put on the diamonds in a row. And one at the top just to try to put them in a straight line so we'll cure this for five seconds into the light because then it's set for a little bit and then can not glide away when you're working on a long line so we go on Now we're going to put on a top coat to seal it all. I have a real great tip of the day for this. So uh, just watch the rest of the video and then I'll explain you a little bit extra about um, top coat and uh, diamonds. So we go in just beside, beside the stones. And I prefer not over the stones because otherwise it's going to be very thick and that's something you do not want so then we go in with a little brush to put the top coat in the corner also on the red just against the stones so they have extra grip and now the tricky part is going on we are going to put it in here so I decide to put it over it it's just easier So also on the red.
And just try not to touch the skin while you're working with this. So everywhere you have a corner who doesn't fit the brush, you just take a little bit on a small brush and you fill up the gap. So this we're going to give one minute into the lights and then we are done because this top coat does not have a sticky layer so we don't have to remove it with alcohol also afterwards. <laughs> That's really great about this and it shines like hell so it's really I love a non-sticky top coat really. Oh lovely! I'll show you in close up. So what do you think? Oh, I think it's a cool design. The last thing we need to do is take care of our cuticles. So I'm going to give them a little bit of oil. Just around the base of the cuticle. And rub it in. I owe you the tip of the day. So, my tip of the day is about top coat and uh, diamonds. If you have top coats uh, after your diamonds, then it's important to uh, not put top coat over your diamonds because otherwise it's going to have a smooth surface and it won't catch the light uh, as, well, as, as well. So, you always wanted to try not to touch the stones, uh, the diamonds, with the top coat, but just the sides. So if you put on a top coat over your stones, just wipe off your brush from your top coat and strike over it again so you take away the most of the top coat from the stone diamond. So it shines brighter than a full layer. Oh, I'm going to love this nails for probably a week. But it's a nice week then. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I love them. I really love them. I liked making this video and I hope you liked watching it. If you do, I all I asked already in, in the beginning, but now I do it again. Give me a thumbs up and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.